up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Thanks for supporting me at my own project right here. Gonna break down that first really tasty solo from Sultans of Swing. I'm working on the solo after that as well. So thank you for your patience. Let's dig in. All right, so it's a D minor chord progression for this particular uh, solo. And the chords underneath are important because uh, some of the arpeggios outline the chords. So it goes like this. So D minor, C, B flat, A. And then again. Now F to C. And then B flat to D minor. You know, it's the verse into the chorus but it's soloing. Now, and the solo's done. So I'm starting with a 12th fret G string bend. Bend, 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 bend. Then a hammer-on pull-off between the 10 and the 12 on the G. Then finger goes down to 9, and you do the same kind of move between 10 and 9. So. So the next little movie does is an A major arpeggio, and I just thought, gosh, what's the easiest way to play it? And I'm going like this. So I'm dragging my thumb over the seventh of the A and D. Then on that same D string, my pinky goes up to the 11. This is an A major arpeggio. And then with my index finger, I grab the 9 of the G, and then middle on the 10 of the B, then 9 on the high E with my index. So it looks like a little D, D shape. And so I've got ninth on the high E with my index. Ring finger is going to go up now to the 12 of the high E and give it a half step bend. Pretty awesome stuff right there. So from the top. start to hear it come back down and then you're going to grab a D minor right here so 10th fret high E B and G high E B G ring finger down to the root here on the 12th of the D D minor arpeggio. Ten on the B to the um, thirteen, and I still think of the I still see the D minor pentatonic under everything I'm doing. It's got the extra half steps to make it the D minor scale, but I'm still seeing. Okay, so T 
10, 13 on the B. And then I'm going to hit my index to the 11. And that's one of those extra notes, which is from the D minor scale. So it's this little hammer on pull off between 11 and 13 on the B. So then you're just going to hit that 10 on the B after the and now you're right back in that minor pentatonic vibe, right? So then this is a little kind of a little jazzy thing, middle finger on the 11 and then nine slid up to the 10. Now we're going to get to the part where it's an F chord and it happens to, you know, lay right on a, a country F, like country F arpeggio. That's actually an F major arpeggio. In the kind of country vocabulary, but so... That's the lick. A bend on the 12 of the G. Grab the 13 of the B. But then you bend the G again like this. Then you're, I'm covering the 13 of the high E and the B, so. down, release to the 10 of the G. B, high E, B, G, bend down. So this actually, now on the C chord, he's laying over the C major arpeggio with, you know, some little accoutrement. So 13, 12 on the high E, 13 on the B, 12 on the G. And I'm using ring and middle. Because with my index, I'm going to grab the 10 of the B. Then I grab the 12 of the G again, and then ring finger over to the 13 of the B. Now we're going to go 13 on the B, slow whole step bend up with vibrato on top, hear it come back down, 
release to the 11, not the 10. And then two bends up like that with vibrato on top. So So now we have to do this. So I'm covering the tenth of the high E. I'm using my thumb and middle finger. And obviously, if you haven't noticed, I'm using my fingers, um, you know, because that's how he did it. But I'm not doing it, you know, exactly how he did it with the fingers, but I'm just at least using my, you know, thumb, index, and middle finger. So covering the 10 of the B in the high E, I'm hitting the B, and then I'm hitting the high E, but I'm pulling my pinkies on the 13. And then I hit the B again. Then the high E again, so. Then a bluesy thing where I'm bending the 13 of the B up. And then I let it come down the pentatonic, so. So it bends down, natural, down the pentatonic. 13, 10, 12, 10. And then now we're gonna go straight into the uh, B flat major chord. And you could do this little F shape, but basically you need Think of it as a full bar chord or this F shape, you know? So that's eight, eight, seven, six. And it goes just down the line, A, D, G, B, G. And however you can finger it, I it was easiest for me to just drag my thumb over like that. So now I'm kind of raking my thumb, and if you relax your index finger, and kind of press down as you go, you get that kind of raking. And so this is for the C major chord, and I'm playing this little piece of it right here on the fifth fret of the G, uh, at G and B. Oops, sorry. Middle fingers grabbing that sus4 right there, which is the uh, sixth fret. And then pinky goes up to the eighth. And then back. And then up again, like that. So. Good job. No. So let's go over that a little bit more from here. So. So, bum, 
But really emphasizing that B string, even if you went. So the second time, we, st we go back to that B flat. And then we're just sliding into this C major chord, but with the index finger. So, you know, basically covering that same thing before, which is the fifth fret, uh, G and B, but you can get the D in there too. So we slide it. So watch. And we're combining the rhythm guitar with the lead right here for a minute. And another C major piece from that country arpeggio. Five, seven, five. Then back to seven with the whole step bend. Then I'm grabbing the eight of the B while I'm still holding that bend. Pull it off to the five and then back. So, uh, And then you're done. So let me play the whole solo from the top really slow for you and regular speed, and then just work on it. All right, thanks again for watching the lesson. I hope you guys had a good time. Thank you for supporting Marty Music. Please leave comments below. I hope you've subscribed and I appreciate that. And uh, you can even leave your requests in the comments below and I'll check them out. So we'll see you again soon. Uh.